So I'm here at the dashboard for my site. And we're just going to do some very simple work with it this week, getting it set up, putting in a few pages, putting in a few posts. Let's get started by starting with Customize Your Site. And it has different options. I'm using 2012. I'm not going to change that. We'll get into that later. Site title and tagline. I actually set this up when I set up my account, so there's nothing to do there. Colors. I can click here, and I like purple. I'm going to make it a little bit darker. And I'm going to leave the background color as white. I actually want that purple to be... Yeah, okay. And then I can set my background color if I want to, but I really kind of am fine with it. Let's see what it would do. That will just use the default. I'll collapse that. Oops, I want that open again. I could put in a background image. Don't really want to. I'm going to have the front page, front display a static page instead of my latest post. So my front page is going to be well, let's set it to sample page and my post page will be, hmm, we're going to have to come back to that. So we're going to save and publish here and I'm going to close this and I'm going to add an about page. And so here I'm going to put in about Mary and I'm going to type a little bit of information very fast. Mary Winchester is using this site to learn WordPress. That's all I want to say. I'm going to save my draft. I'm going to preview it. That looks good. I'm going to hit home. Oh, I see the sample page is out there and I'm going to want to edit that. So I'm going to click on Site Admin. Site Admin will take me back to the dashboard. And let's look at Pages. Sample page. Let's do a quick edit on that. I love to program. Programming is fun. The date's fine. We'll leave this open. We'll use it as a front page template. Status published. And we're going to go ahead and hit update. And so we can go in here. Let's make sure that's in draft mode. We want to make sure this is actually published. So I'm going to publish that. And you can add new pages very easily by just clicking add new. And we're going to call this Nessie's page and then here I'm going to add media. I'm going to select a file in my pictures and I'm going to choose Nessie. I'm going to insert into page and then I'm going to talk about her. This is my dog Nessie. You can sometimes hear her while I am recording lectures. Don't really love the layout here. We can play with that a little bit more later. Oh, and it gives us this is the HTML code. So we can go back to visual and we're going to go ahead and publish. And then we can go back to my dashboard. I need to edit this page. Okay, so we've got home, we've got about Mary, we've got Nessie's page. I'm going to need to edit that front page. 
and this is a page, not a post. This is my site to learn how to use WordPress. So I'm going to update this. Preview changes. Looks good. Back to edit page and hit Okay, that's fine, and I think I'm done. So I'm going to go back to posts. This is where my blog would be. And you'll notice there's already a post in here that I can edit. I can either edit it or delete it and then start blogging. This is my blog. I can talk to the whole world about programming. And I'm going to just update it. And let's just um, publish public. OK. I'm going to go to my site by clicking Site. And you'll notice this is wordpress.mary.mccdgm.net. So it's my WordPress domain, and you can see that I created Mary's WordPress Sandbox. Home about Mary, Nessie's page. I did not save this correctly, where it says I loved... Oh, it does. It says... No, I saved it sort of. How I get rid of the, this is the example page. Mary loves to program. And I hit update, which should publish it. So I'm going to go check it again. Home about Mary, Nessie's page. And we could go to my my blog. And I can log in, and I can choose edit to delete that comment. And she's moved to trash. You can hit home about Nessie's page. Okay, so you can see my blogs, you can see everything I have there. So that's very simple. And that's pretty much what I want you to do for your first assignment. I want you to create three pages or five pages, depending on which class you're in, in WordPress. And we're going to get a little bit more into editing it. But you can see it's very simple. You're just going to add pages and type a little something into them. I'd like you to put a picture in at least one of the page is and you can put something simple into your blog category. Now if you're just navigating directly to your page, let me bring up a new browser. So let's go here and just navigate. To just get to my page, I called it wordpress.mary mccdgm.net and since I'm in a new browser it will make me log in and so this is what it looks like when you first get here about Mary and you can see all the stuff on the side and I can leave a reply and I can go to Nessie's page and I could leave a reply here so it's very very easy to get this set up and running now if I wanted to take control of it, I would log in and I would put in my username and password, which is no longer my password. And then I can log in and I can take control of it over it again. So your job for this week is just to set up the site and add a few pages. That's all you need to do.